Hello, welcome back to another video. Today's video is going to be a completely different type of review for my channel. So today we're going to be reviewing a keyboard. So we're going to be reviewing the Red Dragon keyboard. So this is a Cherry MX Blue Mimic keyboard. It's not an actual Cherry MX Blue, but it is a mechanical clicky keyboard with a tactile feel to them. And yeah, we're going to be reviewing this today and unboxing it really. It's not going to be super in-depth review. It's going to be what you guys will see if you order it yourself. This keyboard up here is what I normally use, my Corsair K63 I believe it's called. So let's get straight into this. Um, so the box is, it's alright, it's not too bad, it's a bit scratched up from um, delivery but that's not too bad. Kind of cool uh, Red Dragon logo up there, nice one down here as well, nice iridescent sort of look to it. Um, I think there's, yeah, there's one piece of sellotape or tape at least holding it down here. It's actually a custom Red Dragon one if you guys can see that. That's pretty cool, but the box itself feels kind of smooth. It's not not like a super cheap cardboard, but it's obviously not a reusable box that you'd ever use again. So we've got some um, bubble wrap here, which is not the best to be honest, but it will do for now, I guess. So oh, this is get out of frame a bit. So there we go. I've got it out of this box. You can see that the cable isn't sleeved, some people prefer that, but I prefer sleeved cables personally, but it's not too bad. We've got a cover covering the USB, and then we'll actually get into the keyboard itself. It also seems to come with a keycap puller in the box, so if you don't already have one of these, they're super cheap if you need one, but I guess it comes with one anyway. So uh, let's start to unwrap it itself. So wow, I just... Just by moving it, it seems to unwrap. It's not even taped together, so this is actually the wrong way around. There is the manual, but I'm sure everyone knows how to work a keyboard. And uh, this is the actual keyboard itself. So it's got a uh, smooth uh, spacebar instead of the more rigid one I've got over here. It's got a sort of grip to it. We'll test the key sounds. It's very clicky. It's a very clicky keyboard. But if you're buying this, you should already know that. It's the blue switches, and we're going to check that now by pulling off one of the ASD buttons. Oh, sorry, uh, arrow keys even. And as you can see there, um, it is a blue switch. So, yeah, it's a nice clicky switch. Okay, sorry about that, guys. The camera's battery ran out, so I've uh, just put in some new batteries, and everything should be okay. So, as I was saying... This keyboard is on the budget side of things. I got this off of Amazon for about £35. And it's a, a budget keyboard. It's not by like a massively well-known brand, but it is Red Dragon, which are a good budget brand. So we're going to put this into a, a bit of a test right now and go into Fortnite and see how it performs in-game. Okay, so this is the part of the video where I'm going to show you what it's like to use in-game. So I'm on Fortnite right now, and I'm going to do... A quick little compilation of me just doing some edits and just playing the game to show you guys what it's like to actually use in game. Okay, to sum off today's review of the Dragon Mechanical Blue Cherry Mimic Switched Keyboard, I'm going to give this a 7 out of 10 because although the keyboard is quite good for its price, it really is to be honest, um, it has a really nice clicky feel to it, and has a nice uh, clicky sound, and the RGB is not too bad actually, it's not amazingly bright, but they're pretty well lit to be honest, uh, I've seen definitely worse. Um, the keyboard itself is quite sturdy, it's quite well built, and it has a really nice like 
feel to it. It feels quite professionally done. Although the key keys themselves, the keycaps feel a bit cheap, um, I would personally recommend you switching these ones out if you want to use this as your daily driver, but apart from that I'd say this is a great keyboard. There are a few features this keyboard is missing which makes it a 7 and not like an 8 out of 10, such as like the play buttons that would go along up here with like a pause and like a maybe a volume adjuster, there's nothing like that. So it's a bit lackluster in that area. I've gotten the 10 keyless design, so I'm not expecting a number pad to be over here or anything like that, so I'm not marking it down for that. Uh, the, key like the keyboard itself does feel quite good, and I do quite like it. So if you're looking to get a cheap budget keyboard that is a uh, gaming keyboard to a certain extent, you could probably use this for most things, to be honest, though. It's just called gaming keyboard. Um, yeah, I'd recommend this for £35. It is pretty damn good value for money, and it does feel really well made considering that its price range is at the lower spec, really. But if you're looking for something a bit more high end with a few more features as far as lighting goes, and the keycaps being a bit better, and just a few little other details like a braided cable then I'd recommend a different keyboard. But that's going to sum up today's video guys, if you've enjoyed this review definitely leave a like and comment saying so, until the next video guys, peace.